The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. 911, what is the address of your emergency? He leadeth me beside the still waters. It was a crime that rocked this upscale beach community. I'm Jack Leonard, and I work for the Los Angeles Times. A husband and wife killed in their beds, Andra and Brad Sachs. Can't imagine anybody wanting to hurt them for anything. This is what the first cop on the scene reports. Myself and my partner fanned out across the room. We saw multiple gunshot casings on the floor, as well as a male and female lying in the master bed. There was blood all over the bed. According to a source, the Sachs' eight-year-old son was fired upon. He is paralyzed as a result. It was Tuesday morning. I looked down at the, the headlines. Double homicide in San Juan Capistrano still unsolved. I felt like somebody threw me off a 15-story building. Wham. The Sachs look like the perfect Southern California family, a large estate, a lavish lifestyle, and lots of money. By some estimates, up to $80 million. This case was a true whodunit. I'm Justin Montano, and I'm the case agent on the Sachs homicide investigation. It appeared that the motive for this crime might have been revenge for a business transaction. I'm Mike Thompson, and I was one of the homicide investigators assigned to the Sachs murder case. Brad and Andra had many enemies in dealing with business transactions, whether it be rentals or failed business ventures. But the bottom line is they had many enemies. I would not be the least bit surprised. Somebody said, you know what? You've done it to the wrong person. Uh, you're out of here. At one point in this investigation, this case took a turn that nobody would have expected. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me.